It is almost 10 to 5 on this Monday morning. We have a pinpoint weather alert in effect. Here's Michelle with more details on why. I guess it has something to do with the uh, active radar behind us. Yeah, we're tracking a few showers and thunderstorms. Right now, all the activity is still to the north of us, but sinking south and eastward okay. along a cold front. So let's take a look currently. It's dry, traveling in or around New Bedford, Providence, uh, Smithfield, all rain free right now. But over the next couple of hours of the morning, we've got to keep an eye on the radar, primarily areas north of Providence for a shower or a thunderstorm. This could contain some locally heavy rainfall and isolated stronger wind gusts. Then our threat tracker drops to the green for today and staying there for Tuesday. So again, our major interstates at the moment dry. Let's take a look northward though and you can see those showers and storms. One cluster of thunderstorms making their way towards Worcester right now and Boston has had a couple of storms over the North Shore watching the back edge of the activity through Albany, New York this morning. That's going to continue to push to the to the east over the next couple of hours along this cold front. Again, as the front sinks southward, we're going to be seeing some falling humidity during the day and the skies clearing out. So no trouble over the highway this morning. Temperature wise, it has stayed warmer in the upper 60s to low 70s. South southwest winds right now, 8 miles per hour. Still 71 in Taunton. Warm morning in New Bedford, 70, 69 in Westerly. Skies clearing out, the humidity dropping, feeling like summer. With temperatures up to around 82 this afternoon. So here's the hour by hour forecast showing that chance for a shower or thunderstorm to start off the morning and then clearing out 9 a.m. Looking back to dry conditions, most areas still around 70 to 75 degrees. By lunchtime, upper 70s to near 80. And those highs for the day, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, kids wrapping up the school day, upper 70s to lower 80s, dry skies. No issues for getting in after school sports or a walk after work, 5 o'clock in the evening. It's nice between about 75 and 80. Warmer than normal for mid September. Here's the dew points. Nice to see this going from an uncomfortably warm start to those dew points dropping through the day, getting back to more comfortable air. And there's less wind today out of the northwest and west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour with a few higher gusts in the afternoon. So our uh, bay forecast uh, that small craft advisory no longer in effect. West winds at 5 to 10 knots, waves around 2 to 3 feet. Evening hours looking quiet, dry, comfortable, 71 at 7 o'clock in the evening, then cooling through the 60s. Late tonight, about 61 degrees in the Providence area. We'll start to see some clouds rolling back in, and there's a slight risk of an isolated shower, nothing significant. Looking at our tropical satellite and radar, watching Tropical Storm Nicholas this morning. This system has 60 mile an hour sustained winds moving to the north northwest at 14 miles per hour. The forecast track brings us north over east Texas, and then a weakening to a tropical depression as it lifts towards Louisiana. Heavy rain going to be the big factor with this storm. Some areas could see over a foot of rain, and that is not good news for Louisiana, which has already been hit uh, hard or, uh, during this hurricane season. So looking at our seven-day forecast around here, we're looking at a sun and cloud mix for tomorrow. It's the coolest day of the work week and the only day where we're looking at temperatures at or below average. The rest of the week's pretty mild for mid-September. Lower 80s, breezy and warm on Wednesday. Chance of a shower Thursday and on Friday. And then right now, looking at uh, a mainly dry weekend. And you